Welcome to Age of Z. This is the unstable one, he joined here by my co-host, Renegade Gamer. And today, we're doing a little preview of Battle of Z. More like a review, but okay. <laughs> Which our, our host here has something to say. No, he doesn't. He <laughs> fucks everything up. <laughs> But the reason we're doing this game is because it fucking sucks. And we're going to talk about how much it fucking sucks. The graphics is okay, but it still fucking sucks when it comes to anything else. And if you could hear it, you would hear the, the actual Dragon Ball Z theme song, which is just a fucking insult. And I'm skipping it. Shouldn't we turn on the volume? Well, they... Whatever. They need to hear that. They, they want to relate more. Okay. Probably. Turn it down really low, though. Stop. <laughs> I wait for this shit to load. <clears throat> we forgot to mention this is the first episode of this series. Oh yeah, this is the God damn it. <laughs> so great. We okay. apologize we're, if we fuck we're, up. We're even. We're even. <laughs> You're we even. apologize if we fuck up a lot. Oh fuck you, Parunga. Yeah. I also apologize for the shitty quality, but um. Okay. You know, this is the first episode. We didn't get everything done yet. No. This is our... And that was me just moving the camera. So yeah. So, fuck off. <laughs> the, one, the first thing I hate about this damn game is that it leaves out a lot of the fucking story. Like, look at this shit. It goes straight from Vegeta to... Oh, the fuck? Guldo. That's his name. Yep. <clears throat> he does the Ginyu Force, then Frieza in the stupidest fucking way. Then, you know, does the Frieza battle. Whatever. It's nothing nothing to really say about that one. It, it, skips, it skips a lot of points in the story, which needed to be in the story in the first place to be understand. Do we really need to fight this faggot, though? Yes, we do. We, we have, to, have go to fight 30 Majin Boos? Yes, we do. Yes, people! This is the Jake part. We have to fight 30. They give you Not 10 minutes and you use most of it. 30. And then you gotta fight Super Boo at the end. <clears throat> and then, like... Although I do like this shit. Although it's hard as hell. Okay, so let's start from episode, or let's start from mission one. You gotta go all the way the fuck back up here. Yes, you do. First of all, mission one, two, and three, once you've completely beaten the game, you can play as any character in any stages, except for these three. You're locked to, to four specific characters for the first three stages. And it's stupid. So, let's talk about, uh, this is the first mission. The first mission is the beginning of battle. Oh, you're locked to one! Okay, you can go fuck yourself. Which, obviously, the first one they're gonna pick for any Dragon Ball Z game is Goku. Although, just to make shit easier... Ah, god damn it! Uh, I apologize for that sudden jump cut. I, like I said, I fuck everything up. And just to make this shit go by fast, I'm gonna overpower Goku to hell. <laughs> For no reason. For no reason at all. Just because I don't want to play this level. I also hate how long it takes for shit to load. Like, this is two, this game was made in 2000, what, 2014? There's no excuse. 2013 or 14, something like that. I don't, I don't know. Why, why am I, I don't, I don't even need to be this powerful. So, yeah, basically the point is... In this game, they give you special cards that help you boost up your character's strength, speed, and ability. And a lot of times, once you've unlocked all the plus 100s and gotten a few plus 50s, you can overpower certain characters to hell. Like go, like Vegito, because his base level is 920, making him the most powerful being in the game. Let, let, let me explain something. I played this game a long time ago when the demo first came out. And to be honest with you, when I played with the demo, I was very mad. And the reason why... Because Krillin, out of Goku and everybody else, Krillin was the most OP character in that whole demo. Like he, could hit, he could activate Solar Flare from a mile away and you could still be hit by it. Ah, oh, goddammit. I gotta learn how this shit works. Fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> This is going to be more like a Let's Play combined with a review. I'm not actually Let's Playing the game. No. Speaking of Krillin, there he is. 
Uh huh. Let's yes. over. Let's severely overpower Krillin as well. Now, if anybody excuses me, I am going to be saying jokes, which I'm hey, going to get props for. Krillin's more powerful than Goku. See what I mean? This kind of bullshit. This kind of bullshit. Makes Only me by bad. five, but still, that's but actually still, a pretty big though, difference. And look at this. It's it's, it's look at this. It's, it's dumb. It's, it's wrong than anything on this planet to make Krillin stronger than Goku. That's like making Raditz stronger than Vegeta. It For doesn't sure, like work. Raditz stronger than Frieza. <laughs> it doesn't work. I mean, as kids, they were close in strength, but fucking by the time Dragon Ball was over and Dragon Ball Z came around. Goku severely outclassed Krillin. <laughs> Not just in power, but also in height. What the fuck happened to him? Why is he a midget? Although, that's, that's a different story. That's for a different episode. Sewer Flare! Yeah. Look at these fucking... shiny, sky-blue Cybermen. Welcome to Pokemon, people! When we got shiny Cybermen! Ah, you one see, hit death. You, you, you see this, James? Ah, from damn it. all the way from over there, able to hit him from that far. You have no what time the hell? to block, no time to counter attack. Apparently, blast was like those little Kai blasts. I forgot how to play. play. By the way, I'm. I so legitimately forgot scratch. how to play. So we're starting from, basically, we're starting all over again. And you said you didn't want to learn how to play. No, I don't want to learn the controls. I already know the controls. I just don't know what order they're in because I was playing the Wii. True. There, I'm starting to... Which you might do that next if you ever want. That's going to be a next episode. Oh, yeah, definitely, because that's actually a good game. This, this Wii game that I'm not going to mention. We'll mention it in the next episode. Or maybe I'll give you a sneak peek. Bro. Did I just kill him with one hit? Yeah. Ah, no, I didn't. There we go. Now, if you give see, me Raditz, bitch. Now, if you see on the screen above, there's an energy bar. That energy bar will give you an amount of energy of how hard and how much power did you use to fight. No, it doesn't. No, I mean like not like give me your character energy. I'm it doesn't do that. It actually. I know it gathers energy. Yeah, it allows you to either use an ultimate move if you have the card for it, or it allows you to give energy when an, en when an energy request comes. Which gives you the premium points, which is the only thing you truly need in this fucking game. Shut up, Krillin. There's probably going to be a lot of Team 4 Star references. I'm going to say a lot of Team 4 Star references, which... Please, Team Four Star. Specifically, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Specifically, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. If y'all want to go see it, please go check out Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Hell, I'll, I'll put a link to the channel in, in the description. It's here. it's really worth seeing. I really wish I could fight Raditz with any character I wanted. I want to want to fight Raditz with Vegeta or something. So, t if if Team Four Star runs into this episode one day, Team Four Star, we appreciate you. If anything, we're fans. And what? yes, we're gonna use a little bit of your red switch. Please do not. Steal what the hell? Kind of way. I used the Kaioken and got hit at the same time, meaning the energy field was going around me as I was getting hit, thrown back. It's bullshit. You know what always made me laugh about Dragon Ball Z when I first watched it or played it? Hmm. <laughs> Double Sunday! What? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> My first thought is like all all power moves is gonna. I love how they give all this dialogue and that's almost all of it just in the levels as you're playing. It's bullshit. Why is why is it taking so long to beat Raditz? I should be destroying him with each. He should. What the hell, camera? <clears throat> I think I'll just be the guy that rants about the game because I'm the one playing it. So. You know what, bastard? Since we're doing Dragon Ball Z reference, no, we're not giving Krillin his own count. We're not giving, we're not doing a Krillin owned count like Team Four Star. Does. Even though I want to, but you know, that's too much editing. <laughs> that's too much editing. Damn it, Raditz! 
Fuck you. It's called being overpowered because I've beaten this game 60 times. I can't, Krillin. Oh, now I can. Prepare yourself. It's Goku time. Oh, yeah. Bacon! <laughs> you know how much bullshit that was, though? That didn't happen in the show. No, it did not. This is now. If you look at the regular Dragon Ball Z episode, this never happened. Goku dies, and Piccolo is the one that beats Raditz. So this is bullshit. Gohan headbutts Raditz. He wasn't even in this. <laughs> I mean, I can understand that he didn't really play any type of role in 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 the, in the actual battle. Number of this building. Look at that, double S rank. You know how easy it is to get a double S rank in this fucking game? Number of door? B. B. Yeah, he is here today. Okay, so, um, fuck those levels. Let's play oh, some- Oh, I didn't- <laughs> Let's play one- I couldn't eight. go Nappa. Damn it. No, fuck you. <laughs> Hate? This is the only other level in the game other than the first three that you're locked to four specific characters. Which sucks because I I would really want to fight against all of Frieza's forms. But I can't because I have to win with the fucking spirit bomb. Yeah, it's really specific of how you have to win certain matches. I mean, the damn thing's called spirit bomb on a destroyed Namek with all of Frieza's forms. But it's still a cool idea, but fucking it's limited. Um. So, next episode. Oh my god, let's not go that far. This level sucks, because they only give you ten minutes. And it's a five-star level, meaning it's at its hardest difficulty. It gives you five minutes, and this faggot keeps teleporting every ten seconds. And I said five minutes, but I meant ten. I think. I don't know. What the fuck. Like, you need... And this Broly, this asshole... It was impossible to beat until I unlocked... I think I had to unlock Super Saiyan 3. I legitimately think I... I beat Majin Buu before I beat Broly. Actually, I think... I legitimately think I beat Vegito before I beat Broly. <laughs> Vegito! Actually, no, because I beat Vegito with Broly. So, that's, that's bullshit. That's just, this is just me talking about the game. Like, yeah, basically. My experiences right with the game. He played this game more than I have, but I watch, a, I watch him play a lot. So. Huh. I don't even want to play these fucking levels. Do we have to play one of them? Uh, See, where it goes is from the Saiyan Saga, to the Frieza Saga, to the Android Saga, to the Boo Saga. And then we got the special age. Special age, and there's the extra age, which is that, and the another age, which is, which is, um, which, fucking, which is that. Which is practically fighting the Ginyu Force. The Ginyu but... Force, um, they give you 20 minutes for this, for this, and for this. Yeah, I've got a lot of those guys. You spend, I think my fastest time for this level is 17 minutes. Because of how many Cybermen there are. And it's fucking stupid. I hate it! I hate it! Sucks! It's a shitload of fuck. <laughs>